So if you've been around the S2000 a while, you know that this was the S2000 specific filter, the dark blue one, PCX. This is the regular Civic one. You can use this, and we often see this. This is like a $5 filter. These are about 15. This was the tool I used for many years to take it off. It's spring-loaded, and it was designed to tighten on the filter. The more you turn it, the more it would grip the filter. Absolutely fantastic design. The other problem is you can't tighten a filter with this. Now you guys are gonna say, well, I've got good strength, I can tighten a filter. This is the tightening sequence in the book. These numbers correspond with where you start and where you end. Very simple, a lot of people look at this and it looks kind of confusing. You're gonna line up number two and then you'll tighten it to number one. For instance, if six lines up with any particular point on here, we usually use this bottom of the hose, you tighten from six, you go over to five. The reason is it has to be tightened because S2000s vibrate. They have a lot of harmonics in the motor. They're notorious for filters coming loose. Talk to anybody that runs on a track. These filters will vibrate off and then of course spray an oil on the side of the engine where the header is. That's why it's very important to tighten it. Don't just give it a quick whap and say, well, I have a strong grip. If you can tighten it to the recommended specs, you can take it off. So Honda has this tool right here that we've been selling in the store and it works great. It would sit on here and you could break them loose. There's a few that wouldn't get off, but most of the time it worked. Honda discontinued this filter. This is just a different manufacturer. And they came out with this one, which we all hated because mainly we didn't like the color. Well, this tool wouldn't fit it as well. And if it was a car that was in a tight spot, I did one the other day and it was buried under a turbo manifold and reaching under here with my wrench. Every time I put pressure on it, as you see, it would kind of walk off. And I don't want to sell this if I don't like it, and I'm not going to use it anymore. So I figured, as you see right here, we would design our own. We've got three variations right here that we're working with. As you see right off the bat, they're deeper than the factory one. These are much deeper. We're going to basically try all these. I'll show you a little bit on video, but I want to try them to see which ones I like. But just playing around with it, this one has a lot more contact than this. You see them side by side. This is about double the contact. These are billet CNC. Right now they're raw aluminum. We're probably gonna hard coat anodize it. But let's just show you how they fit on this filter. These ones here, some of them fit a little bit too tight because these are of course CNC made. They're absolutely perfect. The filters are essentially like a extruded can right here. So this is gonna be perfect, this isn't. Like I said, it doesn't fit all the way down. That's why these would walk off. We're not selling these anymore. This one a little bit taller. One of them has more tolerance than the other. This one fits, but it's really tight, which is great, but it's gonna be tedious to work with. It's got a 3 8 drive. The 19 fits on there. Super stug. 19 socket. I had concerns that this hub wouldn't be strong enough. Uh, my designer and CNC machinist assured me, based on the software, this will be rated a lot higher than what we're going to be tightening. So we're not going to have an issue with this. Let's try this and we'll do it to Honda specs. I think it says uh, 15 to 18 foot pounds. Uh, we'll just make sure my wrench goes down to 20, I think. What we'll do is we'll tighten it, we'll remove it and tighten it a little bit, and just check that that hub doesn't show an issue. So there's 20. Doesn't seem much. Let's go, let's go to 30. That's 30 foot pounds, that's double. That's 40 foot pounds. I want it to look nice. I want it to be uh, kind of slender looking, but I don't want it to be something that would damage. I want this to be a tool you'd keep forever. And the hub still looks nice. It's not damaged it. This one is hard coat anodized. It will be harder finish. It won't scratch. It's got the marks from the socket, but it won't scratch. That was good to me, that was nice. 19 
and a 3H drive. Uh, so to grip this, if I do this, it's just going to squash. If I tighten it this way in the vise, we should get some good tension on there. Let's see what we got. Where do you think it's going to break? Where do you think it's going to slip? Let's go. Let's go to 100. I don't think anybody would ever put their filter on to 100 foot pounds unless it's uh, your ex's boyfriend's car, then maybe so. With a little bit of Loctite. Is 100 ready? It's slipping on the vise. That's actually surprising. I <laughs> didn't think it'd be that strong. Let's go out here. Let's crank this down. Go 120. You know what? Let's do the impact. Milwaukee fuel. This thing is a beast. This thing on level two, it's got to break it. Ready? Should do a slow mo just in case. Wow. Twisted that a little bit. See how it was angled that way? I'd say that's strong. That's stronger than I thought it would be. All right, that was pretty impressive. That took a thousand foot pounds of just cranking it. You kind of saw it break loose and then let go. I don't think we're gonna have any problem tightening oil filters with this. I'm genuinely shocked that that held that much pressure. All right, so now we have something for our memory wall. We'll touch base with you on this. I'm gonna keep the video together. I'm trying to make our videos more of like a completion start to finish. So this is proudly made in the USA, like 99% of our items. I'm a big believer of keeping high quality and keeping things local, especially in our own country. So same as this, it's not gonna be farmed out overseas. It will be 100% made in the USA. Okay, here it is, all done. This is anodized black and it has the Teflon coating built in. It's kind of a unique coating. This is the final batch. These are in the store. When you see this, you're gonna see them in the store. We've gone through a whole bunch of different variations to get to this point right here, but it is billet. It's anodized black and the anodizing does have Teflon in there. So it makes it easier to come on and off and it fits nice. It's open, three eighths and a 19 so it's going to pretty much go wherever you want like i mentioned before this is obviously perfect shape these vary a little bit with them being stamped but we've put enough tolerance in it so it can actually go on and it's going to grip but every direction we've tried like 20 filters making sure that all the variations of filters are within what we need but look how pretty that thing is anodized it's got the lht logo all the way around this should last years to come. It's going to go in our toolbox. We're going to make these next for the Civic, which is the smallest size filter. This is S2000 specific, and it is for the Mall filter, which is the Honda OEM filter. We sell these in the store. A lot of a lot of back and forth and testing behind the scenes, and a lot of variations of this, even different codings till we found what we wanted. One of the things that we found when we were building these, we built a first few prototypes. You got to remember when you build something there is a certain thickness of anodizing that is added to it. So it's part of the equation if you're adding 
two thousands worth of anodize it goes so far into the metal so far above the metal you have to bring that into your factors but this square here we wanted it to be tight it has a chamfer so you can actually get your extension in there that's part of that shape it's something that has to be designed into it not just a, a total square it has to have certain radius in the corners we found the three eighths are all not the same depending on the manufacturer some of them are tighter than others uh, we found the husky brand was tighter we found the craftsman brand which this is a extension i've had for 30 years was one of the tighter ones so you have to make it where it fits them all without being too sloppy so it's just funny part of the testing process is to make sure if you sell something it fits the tool that your customer is using so it's interesting what the variation of these is it only varies i think three thousandths of an inch but when you're keeping a tight tolerance it sometimes wouldn't fit so one thing was important to me i wanted this to be something that would last a lifetime if you buy our products i want it to be as best it could be i try and sell the things that i would buy that's also one of my philosophies so i want it to be the best tool that you can use for your s2000 s2000 people Obviously, they're, not everybody changes their oil, but if you do, I want it to be as seamless and easy as possible. They're in the store right now. They're 89 bucks. They're 100% made in the USA. They are hard coat anodized with Teflon. It's a pretty expensive process, but like I said, I want to sell something that I would buy, and I think this is a fantastic tool. They're in the store now. We have a first batch of 40. I'm ordering another set, and like I mentioned, I think I'm gonna make some for the Civic filter. We have obviously the same filter for the Civics, the Type R's are all the same. This is S2000 specific, and it's designed for the OEM filter. That's the filter we use. That's the one that Honda thinks that we should use. We've had a really good look with it. There they are, they're in the store now. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and we'll see you on the next video.